Hi. Continuing the video series uh, about this booklet that I handed out called My Mosaic. Uh, a workbook to help you arrange the pieces of your present into a mosaic of your future. We are at chapter five now. Chapter, chapter five is wonderful. There it is right there. My picture. Ooh, this is a great chapter. It's wonderful. This is, uh, this is a time where you get, you get to be an artist. You get to look ahead. You get to dream. And really what chapter five is all about is that I'm explaining the worksheets for you, the My Mosaic worksheets and how you begin to take one piece of your, one, one little piece, or I guess your most important pieces, I should say, of your life one at a time, and you begin to focus on that and be intentional about each one of those little pieces. So I talk about the name, my piece, and I tell you why I chose to say Jesus instead of God as my priority. I wanna get personal with this. Or if my piece happens to be Michelle or my kids, you know, I, I put their names in there because it's, it's my life. And you do the same thing, it's your life, so you, so you do that. Uh, the purpose statement can be a little challenging because you do need a purpose for each one of those pieces. You need to be asking yourself the why, why, is this important to me? And once you can ask, once you can answer the question why this is important to me, then you know you're on the right track. So I've given you a little bit of a guideline here in case you're having trouble coming up with your purpose statement. So in the book, I've asked you to maybe, if you're looking for a purpose statement, start with a story, define how it makes life better, consider the impact, and, and so on, just to just to help you begin to think about the purpose statement. Why is this so important to me? And you know what? I don't mind spending time with you either if you want me to help you come up with a purpose statement, but I'm pretty sure you can you can do this. The, the real fun in this really is uh, is right there. This is what I see. On the work pages that you will be using for each of your 10 most important pieces, um, this is what I see is where you get to dream. This is where you, you look ahead 10 years, five years, maybe just one year, and maybe you would say if this is just one year, at the end of this year, this is how I see my life right now. Uh, write, those, write those statements in the present. So if in 20 years from now you want a six pack and you want, you want a full head of hair, and if that's what you want, then, it, then you write that in the present. This is what I see. I see myself being seven feet tall with a six pack and a full head of hair. Or I am, sorry, say this, I am seven feet tall with a six pack and a full head of hair. And uh, honestly, that's not gonna make it to my list because that would mean that the second coming has happened, Jesus has resurrected me, and I'm in glory with, I suppose, a 19 year old body again. I guess that's what it would mean for me. So that's not gonna make it to my list. Maybe it's gonna make it to yours, but I know it's not gonna make it to mine. And then uh, moving on from there, uh, my verse of inspiration. You don't have to have a verse of inspiration, but uh, the thing that I mentioned in the book is that if you know that your priority is in alignment with where God wants you to go, if you know that you have alignment with God, that's going to empower you to be more intentional with that particular piece. So that's why that's there. Uh, bringing your life into alignment with God will, will empower you, inspire you to know that uh, you're headed in the right direction. Then this is what I see right now, very, very important. It's, uh, it's a personal assessment. Uh, I'm not there yet, I'm not six feet tall. I don't have a full head of hair. I don't have a six pack. So what do I see right now? And I'm not gonna tell you what I see right now. You, you know it, because you can see me. And then my promise to me, now this is huge. My promise to me is very, very big because these are your action items, basically. In my promise to me, what I want you to do is I just want you to, you know, you see that vision that you have of the future and you've written that vision of yourself in the future in present tense. You know, I am healthy because I exercise five times a day. I jog at least three times. I do weightlifting at least twice, something like that. And then uh, you backtrack to now and you say, okay, these are the steps that I foresee myself taking to get there. Now, remember, one of those steps might be an education component. And if it is, and make sure you say, I need to go to school or I need to register for school or something. I need to have completed my first semester, something like that. So backtrack look, and try to break that down into smaller steps and then take that first small step and put it right here. I promise that I'm going to register for school. I promise that I'm going to wake up an hour earlier and start jogging. I promise I'm going to wake, wake up an hour and a half earlier and both jog and do my devotions, something like that. It's a promise to yourself. Um, it, it's obviously going to help you if you have an accountability partner in the future to help you with this, but that's not the topic right now. Right now, it's you're making a promise to yourself that 
over the next 12 months from now until the end of the year, this is what I am going to be doing. Actually, from now until my next time of review, which is the next chapter, this is what I'm going to be working on to try to get me closer and closer and closer into alignment with my future mosaic. Enjoy. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be coming back to Hillside.